How's it going, guys? Welcome back to the Weeb Lounge. I am Nick, and in this character spotlight, Eriko, everybody's resident Yandere, kind of got an upgrade, a six-star upgrade, and, you know, she really doesn't have to threaten me with an axe or anything. I'll go willingly. Now, if you guys are playing over on Global, you can... You're using Erico all the time. You're using it in clan battles. You're using it in Luna Tower. You're using her all over the place. She's like a damaged beast. But it's not long from now that she really, really just tapers off. She disappears. We haven't used her on JP for years. A couple of years, two years, three years, something like that. It's been a long time. She just plain disappears. Not worth using. And that's changed now. The six-star mechanic has greatly, greatly improved her deadliness. You, see, you can see the blood on dripping off her axe. I mean, Yandere. You know, you, you either love her or she'll kill you. That's how they work. Whatever. Okay, skill number one. Skill number one. Obsession. See? It's what she is. Increases her own physical attack power. That's it. That's it. Just attack power increase. Real simple. This is a really old character considering right so she got that six star a lot of the skills are like really simple for characters way back when i'm not trying to say anything it's just age related that's don't go there skill number two poison blow a single target physical damage attack and poison damage over time nobody cares about the poison nobody's really cared for poison at all forever i mean th there's a lot of characters that have a poison mechanic now but the problem is like, I can put together one arena group that does not involve Erico that does a poison thing that's pretty much only good against, like, stall groups. That's it. And then, you know, it has a pretty good success rate, but still not great. There's other ways to get through it, so it's not even necessary. It's the only one thing I can think of to do with poison. Poison, if you see it on a character, you can pretty much just ignore it. You're not going to do anything with it. You're really not. EX skill greatly increases her physical attack power. If you happen to have her at six, five or six stars, it's going to be even higher. So, yeah, you know, six star high. It, it's fine. It, it's Erico. It, it, it is what it is. Union Burst. Deadly Punishment. It's, it, it's what happens when you try to go with the Yandere thing or whatever. You do what she says. You don't make no mistakes or you're dead. That's... That's how these things work in anime, I swear. Uh, Deadly Punishment, a single target damage attack, and if you kill an enemy with it, increases their physical attack power by a very large amount. Okay, that's not so bad. But that doesn't seem, seem to bode all that well with bosses and stuff, right? It's like if you kill the enemy with it, it will increase their physical attack power. So like maybe a boss with minions? That'll work out pretty good, maybe? Okay, I, I don't ever really liked her original Union Burst. It still hits hard. It's still pretty good. But otherwise, meh. Whatever. Unique Equipment. Let's go ahead and get over to that. The Special Equipment, Unique Equipment, No Mercy. That's just the name of the axe, No Mercy. That, that She's not all there. She's a Yandere. She's not all there. All Yandere's aren't there. All. Much. No, don't tell them that, though. It's... No Mercy upgrades the Obsession skill for much more physical attack power and a crit chance. That's it. Besides the stats, you need the stats. I'm still working on this a little bit with my uh, six-star Erico here, but we are going to get there probably like really, really soon. Where is it? Okay, it might be a little bit. You know, it's just a tiny bit. A couple days, maybe, give or take. I don't know. Whatever. Okay, let's get back to the skills. The most important thing, the six star upgrade. What did this do? Well, it changed her Union Burst from being relatively deadly early on to being really deadly right now. Like really deadly. It, it's hurty. Okay. Six star Union Burst, it goes from being called Deadly Punishment to Deadly Execution. So you, you know, love her or you're dead. That's... I'm not even going into that anymore. Okay. What it is, is it's two separate, massive, single target physical attacks. Now, what I mean by two separate, it's not just like two different ticks, right? You see the damage and you see the damage again. No, this actually counts as two separate attacks. So if you're fighting a boss that has the damage limiter, right? You know, it's limited to like 1.14 million or something like that. This counts as two separate attacks. So it can break past that 1.14, whatever it is, and another 1.14. So she can do 
some incredible damage and kind of loophole her way past that. That comes in handy because the other character that can do that, I believe, is Six Star Summer Carol, and that's going to make this girl, the physical side, deadly er 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 deadly, whatever. So the universe counts as two attacks. Less subject to those damage caps, it increases her crit damage by 6% and a large increase to her physical attack power. If this attack does not kill the opponent, she will get a 40% buff to her critical strike damage. The attack power buff portion of it is actually a permanent buff now. So not only can she ramp up, she has a positive buff on her. And if you're throwing her against boss fights that, you know, obviously don't croak all the time, she's going to ramp up damage more and more and more and more and just cap out ridiculous. She's she, she going to cap out stupid real quick. There's, you don't have to wait. You're dead. You love her quick or you're dead quick. It's it's whatever. She's going for Yuki anyway, so I guess we don't have to worry. Let's go ahead and throw her in combat. I'm going to do something a little odd slash special here just because I'm trying to conserve some stamina. They just released this for one of the side quests that we can go back and repeat. And I'm going to use Erko to clean one up instead of doing the auto thing. She will not have any problem with this whatsoever. Okay, so, like I said, you know, her damage, uh, the amount of damage she, she can do is pretty much similar to, like, a six-star Kaori, right? But the thing is, in different circumstances, she can exceed it because she her attack is two. See? Does that little thing, and then this other strike comes in. Look at this. That's almost a million damage. That's about almost a million damage she's just doing on her own. You don't see that very often, if ever at all. Okay, that is just ridiculous. Well, watch it again. And she had a little bounce there. I, I noticed that. We've all noticed that. If you haven't noticed that yet, you noticed it now. The bounce. Look at this. 1.5 million. She's on her own. She's not buffed. Except for what she can do to herself. This is... It, it's dumb. It's, <laughs> well, how much is it? 1.5 almost. Yeah, it, it, it's ridiculous. So imagine she's, you know, got all the buffs, or if you're fighting anything that doesn't have a limiter to it, I mean, this can be just, like, stupid hurry. Like, share, subscribe, hit that notification button, or I'll kill you. See, Sudere doesn't work for me. I, I can't pull that off. Don't, just ignore that last part. Whatever. So, what, is there any drawbacks to this character? There actually is. Um... Running through and doing this, obviously all the monsters are really low level, so it's easy to crit them. But if you're going up against something that's a lot tougher, Eriko's built-in critical strike chance with her own gear and stats and whatever actually isn't all that high. It's actually a little lower on average, so you're going to have to actually put her into a group that can actually buff her critical strike chance. That's almost kind of going to be a necessity going up against certain boss fights. Otherwise, you're going to lose an awful lot of DPS just because she misses her crits. And that's really all that you have to worry about. She is a damage monster. She will come in handy. In terms of six-star priorities, she's probably right up there with Kaori, Jita, and everything. She is just maybe even higher. I mean, she we just got her not too long ago. We haven't had really any kind of strategies or tests or, and such inside of any actual clan battle or Luna Tower boss or something of that nature. Soon. Very soon. Actually, now, I think. Now. Okay, we'll get to testing her real soon. But she m can outclass six-star Kaori. She might be able to eke above six-star Jita. She could, in certain situations, be the physical damage queen now. We'll see. We'll see when the strategies and everything come out, because that double hit, along with some proper crit buffs and whatever the heck else, she's death incarnate, and she loves you. We'll see you in the next video.